next episode of Squirrel Garage. Uh, as you can see, we have the 240 lights here behind us. Um, I will show you the 240 here in a little bit. Paint is all done on the 240. Our makeshift uh, paint booth is all taken down. And we let it bake in the sun today while we were at work. Um, but tomorrow we'll uh, wash that car down, wet sand the, the few little areas that, that are showing a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of dirt from, you know, just the being outside. Got into the paint, not bad at all. Hit it with some 2000 grit, take the, the, the cut and polish to it. It'll be perfectly fine. But for these tail lights, so we can get these finished up, we're going to hit it with some acrylic clear coat. Um, this is just a duplicolor clear coat. Um, and get these shined up so you can see the difference. Uh, you know, our paint is, is already cured and, and dry and everything. We just need to make the lenses actually pop and stand out just like the rest of the car. So let's get to painting this real quick. Just going to spray some light coats over top and then we'll do two more heavier coats so we get a nice, good, clean, gloss look to the tail lights. So guys, I know it's hard to see, but this the 240 is a black car at night, which, you know, doesn't do much good. But you can see the shininess of the paint. The, this dirt is actually in the, it's not in the paint. It's on top. Um, that comes out. This came through glossy, super glossy, all the way, the whole, the whole top. This is all. If I blew it off, you would see that it, all that dirt is just sitting on top. It doesn't, it's not in the paint. Um, so, what we'll do once we get this done, and it, and it matched pretty well. Like, well, the bottom's dirty and not, you know, you know, th this is not a good representation because it's got sanding dust all over it and stuff. But, it, you know, if you look at it during the day, it matches really well. Um... I know this light sucks, but, you know, you can see the, the shininess of it, but all the dirt in it and the cat prints all over it and stuff, but it's got sap on it and stuff, but um, it it's, looks amazing. So we're going to wet sand and polish the entire car, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to friggin' once we wash it, give it a good bath, wet sand polish the whole thing, you know, cut and buff it all, and you'll never be able to tell the difference of where it was painted, other than the paint looking like probably phenomenal on the other parts, but not so much on the other, but I'm going to do a cut and polish on the whole car, so it's all one color. We're going to throw the rotors on here, um, I don't know if you saw those the other day, but He's got rotas. James picked up some rotas, which are like TE37 reps, with some tires. So we're gonna throw those on after we after we wash the car and after we cut and buff. Throw the rotas on, and this car will be good to go. You can see Amber Lynn back there she's being neglected a little bit right now after after the autocross. She's just been sitting, um, but we'll jump back on her. But um, we're also gonna jump on the red one this video. And um, I got my got my pieces here. Let's walk back inside. I got my pieces here from ECS. So we now have my window trim on the bottom that that connects into the um, uh, bottom of the, the quarter window for the Condor Racing. So waiting on those. Those just came in tonight. So we'll put those in, put our Condor Racing uh, windows in, and the M3 should pretty much be done, except for hooking up a few more wires, and we'll be good to go. So guys, we got coat number one done. 
Um, it went on good. Uh, gonna spray probably a total of three coats onto this, uh, on these lights so that we get a, uh, a nice even finish on it. Because the, the, the black paint was painted first and the, and the lights were not, uh, there is that slight little ridge um, in there. And the more coats of clear we put on, the better that's going to hide that, that little ridge in there. Um, if we do like a total of like four or five, we could theoretically wet sand the whole light down smooth and polish it and stuff. But this paint's laying down pretty good and and looks to have a really good finish on it so we might not do that we'll see how it turns out after we do all the coats but uh let's spray the next couple coats on i'll see you guys when these lights are done so guys as you can see we have our tail lights they are done they look glossy they look great um we're gonna get all this uh painter's tape peeled off of here and uh get all the lights uh, back and installed should be fairly easy it's like four volts per uh, light and we'll get them put back in so that we can then jump over to the uh, wheels and we're gonna pull off the stock wheels get the car jacked up and uh, ready for we're gonna paint the uh, brake calipers red um, before we put on the new wheels so uh, you know and I'll walk you through that process as well but let's get these tail lights back in the car so we gotta complete back into the car so let's jump to it okay guys well as you can see tail lights are installed they look super good super glossy way better than they did before um, you know, they, it really changes the look of the back of the car. Um, I, uh, our next step is going to be, I'm going to wipe down this rear window real quick with some uh, lacquer thinner. Um, just to clean it off, it has a little bit of, uh, just a tad bit of overspray on the, on the glass. Um, from, I guess, primer stage is what it looks like. But uh, we'll wipe it down clean it off and then we're gonna jump over and pop the wheels and tires off and uh, start the brake painting. remove the wheel and we're gonna remove all four actually but right now we're just gonna remove the one and we will prep and clean the brake uh, for paint and the new wheel um, not sure if the new wheel is gonna need a spacer or not I uh, don't think we've ever test fitted it but supposedly they it won't but uh, we will see but get that stock tire off and out of the way boom and now you can see our brake so guys what you'll need to paint the brake calipers is brake parts cleaner uh, I just pick up the O'Reilly's brand this will knock off most of the the uh, brake dust the grind the grit and everything some sort of brush. I'm using a little wire wheel uh, piece. That's just to knock off any of the heavy stuff and and knock all that off. And then what I like to use, other than the spray paint, um, I, I really don't like the spray paint. It doesn't spray thick enough for me. Is the caliper paint kit. 
Um, so this goes on super thick, lays down, looks amazing. Um, you know, and we're just going to be painting the brake caliper here. So we'll tape off uh, the rotor and everything so that, uh, you know, we won't get paint all over the rotor and stuff. But using a Dupacolor brake kit paint and our cleaner. So let's get to it. I'm going to spray uh, first coat of brake parts cleaner to break up everything and loosen everything. Uh, then we'll scrape it a little bit and hit it with some more and clean this whole thing up. See all the brake dust coming off of it. I'm just gonna hit it here, uh, just with this wire brush. If it won't poke me, just knocking down a lot of the caked-on brake dust and any of the grit and grime that may be on the caliper that'll prevent the paint from sticking. Um, but you can pretty much see the silvers coming through on the. Uh, on the brake caliper, so that's a good sign. That's all we need, and get it all cleaned up, scrape the back, loosen all that stuff up, and then hit it again to get all that stuff that we've loosened up off. So we'll loosen all this, spray all that down, Move to the next one, work our way around. By the time we get back here, this will be dry and we can start painting. Well guys, we have the brake cleaned. It's taped off. I forgot I opened up the kit and I forgot they give you brake parts cleaner and they give you tape um, right there. Boom, to tape off everything. So I just used my blue painter's tape and taped off the rotor and anything that I really didn't want painted. Uh, we're going to shake this up here. Uh, this is supposedly a ceramic paint uh, or has ceramic in it or something along those lines. I'm not sure, but we're going to pop the top off and they have a brush in here, an applicator brush. I usually like to use my own, but uh, you know, th these work just as well as long as you're doing it you know, one time and you're, you're good. Uh, so, as you can see, it's red. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the video. It's red. Uh, so we'll do our first coat. I'm going to take some off the top of this thing. Uh, and we'll lightly just start brushing it on. And we will... Uh, <laughs> um... We'll start brushing this on, give it a light coat, and then uh, work our way around uh, to all of them, and then come back around for a second coat. Once this tacks up a little bit, this stuff should get um, tacky just like paint, and as soon as it does, uh, you know, we can go back with the second coat, and then once that happens, then we just have to wait. Uh, 24 hours before we uh, put any major heat to it so um, this time tomorrow we'll be able to uh, drive the car around and uh, bed these bed the, the ceramic coating in and uh, should look good uh, you know should look good behind the rotas um, and not you know not my choice of wheel but um, should look good, you know, establish the look. James is just going for a daily driver, um, something that he can just take out, have some fun with, and, uh, nothing too crazy, so, this is perfect. Let's, uh, finish painting this, and move on.
Hello guys, what you can't really see, well, maybe you can, we got the brake all painted, we got the rotor wheels on, and we got the car back down on the ground, which is kind of hard to see at night, but car's back down on the ground, I'll show you better pictures in the morning, but everything's looking good, we got the suspension adjusted, and car's looking fantastic, just waiting for the paint to finally fully cure. And once it is, we will cut and polish the car. So guys, the last video was really, really dark. And this one's getting dark, but as you can see, the 240 is painted. The back looks like glass. Uh, we just finished polishing the whole thing. So as you can see, that came out butter smooth. I uh, just put the final polish on the trunk and the sides. And you can just tell how well that paint came out. This looks so much better than what it looked like uh, when we first started. Uh, got the rotors on it. Suspension adjusted as you saw in the, uh, the other video. Um, our hood here that was two different colors we now have polished out. Uh, not sure if you can see that either, but um, you can see the headlights cleaned up, and they got polished out pretty well. Uh, they look pretty good and everything. The hood has a nice luster to it, matches the fender over here. And I polished, I went ahead and cut and polished the whole entire car um, since it needed it, so... As you can see, it's just butter smooth all the way down. The whole thing. Uh, just mirror-like. Uh, so, we're done with the 240. Hopefully James comes and picks it up tomorrow. Um, so. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Um, the 240 is done, as you can see. Uh, 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 somewhere there. 240's done and polished and ready to go. Um, we are now going to get back on the red one. As you can see, we don't have any rear quarter windows. Um, took those suckers out to put in the rear seat delete and everything. So we will be jumping back on this one next video. Uh, finish up this one, get the tablet installed for all the gauges, and do a, um, I know I didn't video polishing that one, I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step on how to polish the red one, because this one needs a detail, uh, very badly, as you can see, I just leave stuff on the roof, and the roof, yeah, so, we're going to do a step-by-step -step polish on this one for uh, coming up Stan Station show. Have this one all said and done and ready to go. So, I'll see you next video. Subscribe, like, dislike, comment, whatever you want. I'm Cody. This is Squirrel Garage. See you guys next video.